not an example that's new to folks in the audience, but I'll give an example of how informatics can be helpful in designing uh, new tools going forward. Um, despite the fact that we think we have good governance in my organization, there are always clinical decision support tools that go live and we look at each other on the informatics team and go, how did that get through? <laughs> <laughs> Who built that, right? And so here's an example. Uh, one of our esteemed cardiologists and EP specialists and one of our AMPIC analysts got together and spent months redesigning how to order heart monitors, CO patches and so forth. And the initial design was exactly as specified by our cardiologist. All the paragraphs of knowledge needed to order exactly the right test. And so as, as the primary care clinician logs in for the first time, I go, I'm not going to read three pages. Um, I'm going to call up and complain. Who changed the effing order and why is it so terrible? Um, and we, we um, then had our physician informaticist and within a day of getting our, um, our subject matter experts together, including this time the end user primary care doctor says, I just need to know, do I do this one or do that one? Can you get it down to one sentence? We redesigned it in about an hour and then a, a couple days later we have it live um, in the system through change control and, you know, complaints stop. And so that's the value. If you take months of development work and you can shorten it because you know the principles of good design. Our frontline clinicians, they're subject matter experts. Thank you. They're, I would send my patient to this cardiologist, but maybe not the best you know, usability designer. And, and that's our value.